Hi guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, I am Justin Rama and I am a third year medical student from Cebu, Philippines. So if you're quite wondering but ganito yung suot ko, wala lang, feel ko lang. So, gaira, ko. <laughs> so for the past few weeks, I wasn't really able to vlog kasi tinaman ako ng spirito ng katamaran. I would really appreciate if you comment down below your suggestions, comments, uh, constructive criticisms because I really want to produce and to give you guys good quality content and I also want to know what kind of videos you want me to do in the future. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, click the subscribe button and also please turn on your notification bell so that you would be notified whenever I post a video. So for the third week in online pediatric clinics, we had virtual skills lab. So so I think this would have been fun if this was face to face. Pero wala tayong magagawa kasi nasa pandemic tayo at hindi pa rin face to face ang med school third year. Pero yung fourth year namin nag, nag face to face na sila. So we had to like maximize whatever we have in this online platform. Thankfully, I was able to have my baby doll from Shopee. I was able to buy this just in time before we started our first skills lab. So for this vlog, I'll be commenting to the videos that I recorded during the virtual skills lab. Okay, for first video, niso gastric tube insertion. So I say hello to my baby doll, and I bought those things from Fuente. So yan ay ni NGT at OGT. Oh my god, ang cute ng baby doll ko, diba? Yung, yung, yung chubby cheeks. And I only used... Ano, yan ang nag-English man ko. Natagalog man ito, ni. Anyway, gumamit ako ng masking tape kasi wala akong surgical tape. At para namang totoo, diba? Actually, guys, yung, yung, yung sakto talaga na mannequin or model for this is yung may holes sa nose at sa mouth para ma-insert talaga yung NGT at OGT. Pero yung dal ko, walang holes. Like, wala, wala talaga. Wala akong mambili ng mamahaling model or something. Imagine na lang natin na na-insert ko talaga perfectly. At actually, dapat may, may measurement something sa sa length ng NGT na insert mo sa baby. I think it was like from sa bridge ng nose, then earlobe, then I think somewhere 5 centimeters daw sa cephoid something. I think cephoid sternum, cephoid sternum. So yeah. So imagine na lang natin na yun yung length na na-insert ko. Kasi hindi talaga, hindi talaga siya pumapasok. Wala, walang hole, walang hole talaga. Imagine na lang natin na napasok ko na, oh, uh, di ba, oh, uh, uh, imagination. Oh, <laughs> naglutaw ang NGT. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, baby. And I'm using a 10cc syringe. Kasi yun yung nasa requirement, 10cc daw. Napakalaki naman. Parang nag-flashback yung madtak days na, you know, syringe to range, inject, inject. Actually, nag-char lang ako mag -aspirit. Next is the R gastric tube insertion. And then, yan ay OGT talaga. Pero wala talagang hole, so yeah, imagine na lang natin. At I really tried to secure a doll. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, boom. Pasok na yung OGT, down to the esophagus, down to the stomach, and all. Imagine na natin na pasok ko na talaga. Nag-recycle ako ng masking tape. Ah, parang totoo. Actually, there are ways na ma-check mo kung sakto talaga yung na-insertan ng OGT. I think either you put air to the tummy of the baby or you aspirate the gastric content. I'm trying to put air sa tummy and then to listen sa gamit yung stethoscope. Pero actually, I realized ang daming air na nilagay ko. Ano yan? 7 cc? Dapat mga 2 cc lang. Okay na. Oh my god, I'm sorry baby. You listen through your stethoscope. Basta may marilinig ka daw. Something. I'm really happy at this moment kasi nagamit ko din yung stethoscope ko na isang taon nang walang gamit-gamit. Sayang naman. Oh, lit man. With a rainbow finish. <laughs> Next is yung umbilical vein cannulation. 
Pero actually guys, hindi talaga ako prepared for this. Kasi hindi ako naghanda ng improvised na yung umbilical vein, umbilical artery. Uh, yung na-video ko lang ay about sa three-way stop cup. I was really happy during this time kasi it was my first time to practice to a three-way stop cup kasi hindi, hindi, hindi ko siya kilala. <laughs> hindi ko siya kilala. <laughs> Naman Tagalog, eh. So I was really amazed during this time. Say, ah, oh, yun pala meaning nito. And then our doctor was really patient in teaching us na ganito yung pag open, ganito pag close, ganito ganyan. So I was really thankful that I was able to buy this three way stopcock like hours before we had this skills lab. Di mo talaga mai imagine kung wala kang three way stopcock during this time. Ay. Uh, oh, sige, paningkamot lang dyan, Justin. Pangkabuhayan. Pinili mo yan. So, you can pull out, but you cannot push in. So, mas okay pa nga mo sobra kaysa makulang. So, if nga na nga 8.2 yung mukhang na, na, ang tawag gani? Na-estimate or na-calculate na length, then pwede ra ka mag-9. Para in kaso, pwede ra ka mag-pull out if na. Um, okay? So I'm really happy and I was able to practice this. So at least pag face to face na at my three way stop cock na hindi na ako masyashock kung paano siya gamitan. Kasi na practice na namin ngayon. Yay! So next video is intraosseous insertion but we're using chicken thigh. Okay, prepare your chicken on a wooden or plastic siguro na, na hard, hard surface. So, I used my cutting board. Actually, guys, di ko talaga narinig masyado yung instruction kung saan parte ng tie ka mag-i-insert or mag-i-inject. Kasi na-busy ako sa pag-angle ng camera, sa lighting, sa manok ko, sa, sa chopping board, and whatever. So, yun. Muna, video-video mag-una. So as you can see, nahirapan na ako maghanap. Yung narinig ko lang, flat surface. Pero hindi ko alam kung anong type ng flat surface. Flashback ng medtech life na tusok-tusok. Oh, as you can see guys, hindi ko talaga alam kung saan mag insert I think at first try, sa cartilage ako nag-insert. Weird. Feel ko sa cartilage ako nag-insert. And then, alam ko talaga ang mali. Kasi intra-osseous. Um, oh, Nagpapalpate talaga ako ng flat surface. Sige, palpate po, girl. Pero minumurder ko talaga yung malo. <laughs> And then, later ko na-realize na dapat pala yung parang may screw-like motion ng parang ni-rotate or not. You rotate the the syringe para yung pag down ng needle or shang sa screw or something. Baka yun yung kulang para ma penetrate talaga yung bone. So yeah. Well, one of our goals in this is that we have to aspirate something reddish. I don't know. Basa parang may backflow sa needle. Para malaman naman na sakto na yung part ng bone. Sakto na na sakto na yung na insert namin. Yay! Kita niyo ba yun, guys? Yung may lumabas. So, yeah, finally, may lumabas talaga. So, happy na ako nun. Another video is during our first aid lecture about infant choking. <laughs> Obvious talaga na hindi naman alam pa no, anong gagawin. Oh my gosh. Hindi talaga ako sure kung how hard I should, like, ganun sa baby. We don't really know what we're doing. We're not sure if we're doing it right, but we are trying. That's the most important part. We are trying. So that's it, guys! So guys, comment down below the things that you have learned from me through this video. And I hope and pray that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you have found your life's purpose and that you are joyful even in whatever circumstance you encounter in life. I hope that you wouldn't give up because there is hope especially in those who believe in the Lord. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and God bless us all. See you guys next video.